Welcome back. Another episode. Can you believe it? They brought me back for episode two. I guess y'all liked it. You read the comments. We had several people draw along with us. Several people sent us in their drawings. We're going to show some of them today. Maybe yours will be one of them. We had Devin out there requested a Bass Pro Shops Martin Truex Jr. Camry. We drew that yesterday, so check out that episode if you missed it. Here's what's going to happen. Every day we're going to start off the show with drawing a race car. That's because it's called Let's Draw Race Cars. So that's what we're going to do, right? And then we're going to pick other things related to race cars. Like yesterday, we, uh, we drew a tire and a wheel, racing tire and wheel. It was a lot of fun. I'm Boris. I'm here at my house, probably like most of you are, stuck inside these days. And uh, we're just trying to make the most of it, right? And what better thing to do than draw? I don't know about you, but I love drawing. I love race cars. And so here at JGR, we thought, you know what? Our fans and our friends and... We even had a driver watching yesterday, Riley Herbst. We all need some things to do, some, something to get our minds off of things and something to sit back and relax and enjoy ourselves with. And while you're all loading in here, getting your art supplies ready, remember you can draw on pen and paper, uh, you can use markers or a Sharpie, or you can use your finger and finger paint if you want to. Heck, on Instagram, you can, you can draw for free when you take a, a story shot and then draw all over it. Yeah, or there's a lot of free apps online you want to get crazy, I use Pro Procreate and an iPad, but that's just me. I'm a little nuts. So while people are loading in here, I'm just going to check out the comments and see who all is out there. See if you're having a good day while you get your supplies ready and we'll get started. Okay. Oh yeah. People are out here. We're on all sorts of networks here today, Facebook and Twitter. And we're trying to, we're going to get on YouTube and we're going to get on uh, LinkedIn, Twitch, all these networks. So we're having fun. I'm wearing my Air Jones shirt, of course, today. Craftsman car. Of course, I love all the drivers, but today I'm sporting the Eric Jones shirt. Why not? It's the, it's the one that was clean in my closet. Got it? What are you wearing? You got, a, you got a die cast collection like me? All right, here we go. First of all, what we're going to do today while you're getting your supplies together, we're going to draw Kyle Busch's race car, and then we're going to draw a hauler and a racetrack. Those were requests that we had come in yesterday. But first, I'm going to do just a little show and tell. I'm going to show you some of my artwork that I've made. And hopefully it'll inspire you to make your own because I want to see yours. Whatever you come up with, race cars or not, send it over. Maybe we'll, we'll show it. After we start the Kyle Busch car, I'm going to show some of your work that you sent in yesterday. Okay? So here's a couple of mine. This was one. Let's see here. This was a Kyle Busch car that I, I painted after he won his first championship. It was that green M&M's Crispy Camry. Remember that comeback story he had? That was an incredible year. I was so moved by Kyle coming back from that injury. And winning all those races and winning the championship that I had to paint this. And I believe this actually was uh, sent to someone at M&M's. I can't remember if Kyle has a copy or not, but that's one of my favorite paintings I've ever done of that car. All right, here's a, here's a portrait I did. Three portraits, actually. This is the Gibbs family. That's Coach, JD, and Coy. And, of course, a race car. This was during our 25th year in racing. So I wanted to show you that. Some portraiture. The only request I had on this one from Coach Gibbs was that I reduce a lot of the wrinkles. I'm just kidding. He didn't say that, but but I did do that because I mean, he's my boss. You know, I got I to gotta, I gotta help the guy out, right? I, I, I got to make him look good. That's the point of an employee, right? So that's, that's something I did, and I'm pretty proud of it. All right. I want to see what you do, though. So let's get started drawing race cars. What do you say? I'm here in uh, North Carolina, by the way. Beautiful day. Despite what's going on, we can find some positives out there, right? Trees are budding and things are getting green. It's great. Where are you watching from? Let me know. I'm always curious about that. All right. You ready? We're going to draw a race car. I'm going to go a little slower step by step so you can follow along. So yesterday we drew a front angle. Oh, wait. I have one more show and tell. I'm sorry. This will help me, though. Explain. So this was one of the first race cars, the paint schemes, I ever designed. It was a big red number 42 car. Juan Montoya was the driver. See that? I'm looking at my monitor over here to see what you're seeing. But that was kind of a cool design, one of my favorites. And it was really cool because they made these die cast toys out of them, which is almost as cool as the real car. My point is, yesterday we drew a car at an angle about like that. Remember that? Today we're going to do one about like that. Okay? A little more complicated, and we're going to make it the number 18 car, the M&M's car. All right? You ready? So, here goes nothing. I'm going to start with the, the bottom side skirt in between, in between the two wheels, okay? So all you need to do is draw a line 
that's diagonal across your screen or your paper or whatever you're using, about like that. And I need to leave myself enough room here. So leave yourself enough room because we're going to have a nose and a tail and a roof, right? So yeah. In fact, I'm going to show you a little technique here. I want you to, to draw really lightly a, a rectangular cube, okay? So we can stick with that line we got and we're going to bring it down to here. See, I'm drawing light. I got a gray line. Hopefully you can see that okay. Now we're going to go up, straight up. No swooshes right now. Stick, save the swooshes for later. And I'm actually going to give myself a little more room here. You may need to do it. Erasing is okay. It's not against the rules. A little more room. We're making a, a cubed uh, rectangle, right? A 3D rectangle. Then we're going to make a little V shape out the front. This is going to be the nose. This is going to give us a guide. Got it? Then we're going to parallel that line straight up. And then parallel this bottom line as well. How's that looking? All right, good. Then we're going to do this. Get a ruler if you need to, don't, this doesn't have to be freehand, okay? Parallel. All right, this is the box that our race car is gonna fit into. Does that make sense? Good, I'll let you finish that up. I went a little short here, so I'm gonna fix that. No problem with fixing things. Our whole world's fixing things right now, aren't they? All right, there we go, we're gonna make sure that Edges of the car fit in that box, so now you have enough space. I'm going to switch back to a darker color here. You might use the pencil you can erase for this cube. You might use, I don't know, a light color that's not going to show up. Either way, even if you leave the cube there and don't erase it, that's going to be pretty cool. It's going to be like a die cast in a display case. Got it? All right. Before we move on, I'm going to show a couple pieces of art that you sent in while you're drawing that and finishing that up. All right, you saw my art. Well, Tracy sent this in. This is a piston. That's a part of the engine, if you don't know. And I think that's a pretty good job. These are the things in the engine that, that basically spin the wheels, ultimately. The uh, little explosion of fire happens up here. It pushes this down, spins the, heck, I don't even know, crankshaft, driveshaft. You, you engineers out there watching, you tell me. But Tracy, she drew out a piston with us yesterday. Good job, Tracy. We also have one here from Vance. Vance was drawing with us. He got a little bored with the race cars, and that's okay. You can draw whatever you want. He decided to draw something else that's fast, a roller coaster. And my favorite part about this is that it shows the roller coaster going through this tunnel, which is pretty cool. You got the shading in there. Look how it fades from dark to light. Pretty awesome, pretty realistic. And then we got this one. This was from Byron. He was drawing along with us. Byron is age, let's see, seven. And, no, wait, age 47. 47. All right. Good job, Byron. All right. I think that's it. Show and tell is pretty good. I also want to give a shout out to some friends out there. Tyler, Owen, Emmett, and Luke in Virginia. Tyler, Owen, Emmett, and Luke in Virginia. I hear you're drawn with us. I appreciate that. Thanks for watching. Let's get back to it. You got your cube drawn? All right. I got my black marker, digital marker, whatever you want to call it going. Now we got that side skirt in there, right? We're going to need to do some erasing here today. So just uh, to be prepared for that. All right, darken that bottom line. Now, I'm gonna make a more of a parenthesis kind of half moon shape for the nose. If you look at our race cars, they have a half moon shape. So I'm gonna start up here. I'm gonna hit that line from the cube and I'm gonna bring it back, bring it back over here. And then I'm gonna erase, I went a little far here. Just gonna erase right there. All right, I think. Some of you are going to see how this turns into a race car. It helps to have these to look at too, but if you don't, just look at what I'm doing. All right, how's your line turning out? Looking good? I got a monitor over here behind me, so I'm kind of seeing how, what you're seeing. Put those comments in there. Tell me if you're watching. Tell me if you're having fun. And uh, put in your requests for what you want to draw in the next episode. All right, now we're going to continue the far edge of the nose. All right? So we're going to come up here and we're going to follow this line, light line straight up just a little bit, like an inch or something. Oh man, this is getting there, this is getting there. All right, we're gonna go about just under halfway up that line and we're gonna start to arch it back to about the halfway point of the top line. See that? All right, give it a shot. 
while you're doing that, I'm going to draw my next line, which is a kind of a triangle back here. So you'll see that, not complicated. We're not going to get ahead of you. You do that, I'm going to read some comments and see what's going on. Remember, we're drawing Kyle Bush's number 18 M&M's car today. You can do black and white if you want to. I'm going to add, add a little color in there. But uh, it's up to you what you want to draw. But you got to send it to us. We want to see it. I really want to see it. Let's see who's watching out there. This is one of my favorite parts of this whole show, is seeing what your comments are, seeing what you're doing. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Tons of comments. What's up, Devin? You're watching again, I see. Victor's out there again. Adam's watching. Tim's watching. Tim wants some more trivia. We're working on trivia. We're going to get it back to you soon, this week, I hope. All right. Got some drawing requests coming in there. Let's see Twitter. I was checking Facebook. Let's check Twitter. You almost done with that line? All right, here we go. We're also trying to air on LinkedIn today for all the moms and dads out there who might be on LinkedIn, you know? Or maybe there's kids finding jobs on I, I don't know. I don't, you know. A lot of crazy things going on these days. A lot of stuff going on on Twitter. I like it. All right, let's get back to drawing. Don't want to leave you waiting. You see how we got the hood going on? We got a nose and we got the hood forming up. Now it gets a little trickier. I want to continue the hood just a little bit past that line. Just a little bit, a little bit. Now we got to draw the windshield. Okay, watch me here. We're going to go to just around the halfway point of that box. Go up, up, up. All right. I don't even think I'm going to get to that high box there line. I might continue with the roof like this. Let's parallel that line. See what I'm doing? Didn't quite go high enough. We're not drawing a, a big FedEx truck, right? We're drawing a race car low to the ground. So we didn't want to go up as high as I actually did it. But that's looking really good. All right. While you're doing that, I'm going to get out my light gray marker again. Because we're going to do a little guideline again. How's your windshield looking? Good? Okay, now you see where the hood and the windshield meet right over here? See it? We're going to draw a parallel line to this box just lightly, just lightly, and keep it going. Keep it going. To about right there. Pretty good. That's the bottom of our windshield. Get me back to my black line here. I'm going to trace back over that because I like where it is. If you didn't like where yours ended up, it's okay to erase. It's also okay to just not erase and leave it. We're going to be able to fix things like that, okay? In fact, maybe I'll just, uh, well, you tell me if you need any help. Put it in the comments, okay? All right, there's our windshield. Now you see this line we did over here? We also want to parallel that, and we want this point we're going to duplicate this line over here, and we want it to end right up here where this windshield ends. Let me see. This is a little tricky. It might take a couple tries, even for me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try it out here. We're drawing it up. I'm going to stay light. I'm going to try to mimic it. Perfectly parallel. I even had to go a little long further because I didn't get my windshield wide enough. That's okay. Look at that. We're going to do the same thing over here. We're going to mimic that windshield line, and I will go up to this guideline here, and then we're going to mimic the roof line. See how we're working? Is this making sense? Looking good. Next thing I want you to do is continue a rear windshield line, basically like the front wheel windshield line, like that. See what we're doing? And then trunk line. And you can design your race car to be whatever shape you want. I'm trying to mimic Kyle Busch's exactly. Not going to be exact, but as close as I can get it right now. If you want your car to have a big wing on it, that's fine. Do what you want there. And then the next technique is to connect the backs of these roof lines like this. Got it? So connect them like that over here. All right, I don't want to get ahead of you. I know you all are drawing. I'm going to read a couple more comments. Looks like a lot of people are having a good time. Remember, send me your drawings in there. I showed a few of these fan drawings already. Tracy and, uh, and some other people, Vance and Byron. So send me yours. Let me know how things are going, where you're, where you're at. Things are good here in North Carolina. We're drawing Kyle Busch's uh, race car today. If you're just joining us, just to get our minds off things. Get back to a hobby. Drawing is one of my hobbies. Playing some race car video games is one of my hobbies. What about yours? What are your hobbies? What are you getting back into now that we have a little bit of downtime, a little bit of at-home time? I know many of you probably have parents working. 
So it's, uh, it's good to find some things we can do on our own, right? All right, connect the front of the windshield line as well, like that. See what we got now? Mine's a little off there. My windshield's a little wonky. This is where you can fix things. This is where it's okay to fix things. See, I actually want it to be more like this. I actually want it to be more like that. And you know what? I'm not even going to erase that line. It's okay to have a mistake in there. It's not a big deal. This day and age, we're fixing a lot of things. We can fix a drawing, no problem. All right. You caught up here? Here's what we want to do now. I need you to get out a light line again. Remember, if you don't have another color, just do draw lightly. It's okay. We're going to continue this line at the top of the door, right? So the, the nose led up to the fender, which is now going to lead to the top of the door area. I know we don't have doors in these cars, but it's going to carry all the way back to the trunk area. Got that? And this is just a light line. You can even do a dashed line. Look at this, like a little dash. Dash, 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 Okay. And then do it on the other side over here. Dash, 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 dash. But over here, I want you to stop at the windshield. Don't go over that roof. Now's where you have to use your imagination. Imagine where that line is going to end up following parallel to this guideline when it gets to the trunk. So don't draw over the roof. No drawing, no drawing, no drawing. And then when you get past the roof, continue on the trunk wherever you think it would have ended up. Look at that, so now we got a trunk back there. Perfect. Get my darker marker out since I like that line a lot. Let's make it dark. And then we'll connect the trunk lines to one another, like so. Got it? All right, this is kind of like, you ever done a pine wood derby car? See people do pine wood derby cars and Boy Scouts and whatnot, they start with a block of wood and then they chisel it away. We're doing the same exact thing. We started with an imaginary block here, and we're just kind of chiseling away where the car is going to be, and then we're going to erase those guidelines and you can see it come to life. Okay? You can also come back here. I've got my cars in the way. That's all right here. Come back here and draw a line down and then make a little bumper if you'd like, something like that. It's pretty good. This isn't the most aerodynamic version of Kyle's car, but it's, it's as close as we can get right now. All right? What else are we missing? We're missing windows, we're missing wheels, tires, wheel wells, spoiler, and headlights, all sorts of stuff. We're going to get to the fun part, fun part soon, but we've got to get the foundation done right. You know what I'm saying? Got to get that base of the car done just right. All right, while you're catching up, I'm going to go back here and read some more comments. James is watching. Annette's watching in Arizona, probably earlier over there than it is here. All right, James is in, and another James is in Statesville, North Carolina. Connie's watching, Devin's watching again. Marco's in Oklahoma. Amanda's just up at the road from, from us in Huntersville. Good, 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 good to see you. All right, we're drawing a race car. Kyle Bush's race car. Let's go for the windows. What do you say? All right, if you notice these race cars, can you see that? Look at my monitor here. These race cars have a what's called an A, a B, and a C post. See the window there and the driver window there? An A, a B, and a C post. So we're going to start with the A post. Just draw a parallel line up and then follow another parallel line with the roof over. And actually, just keep that on going back and make a thick parallel line back here. And now we've got a C post. Now connect them at the bottom on that dashed line we made. Very nice, very nice. Okay, now we got to add the B post. It's not halfway, it's about two thirds of the way. Anybody good at math out there? I'm not, I was an art major. But that's going to be right about right there. Got it? Rest my hand on my cars here. Draw a straight line down and actually a parallel line like that. Now we've got our A post, our B post, and our C post. Got that? A, B, C. Easy as one, two, three. All right, here we go. Looking good. Did you get that in there? Take just a second for you to do that. Don't worry about perfection. We can come back and go back over it and color it in, whatever you want. Just kind of get some placement in there. Now, the fun part, I like this part. The wheel wells, where the wheels are gonna go into. We've gotta draw a big kind of arch, like an archway. We've gotta draw an arch for them. We gotta put them in the right spot. Look at where they are on these cars. See that? Front line of the arch is going to start right about here. Got that? 
the back one of the arch is going to start right about there. Okay? And then as the further we get back, we're going to make that arch a little smaller because when the, something's further in the distance, it appears smaller. So we're going to start right under our C post where it starts. We're going to do a little line. And then we're going to do another little line that's just a little closer together than these. All right? I like where those lines sit up on mine. How about yours? You feeling good? I always worried about going and making things perfect when I was growing up when I was a kid, but now I've figured out you can you can deal with things that are imperfect, right? You can if you placed a line in the wrong spot, you can fix it. You can either erase it or you can make it part of your drawing and make the drawing even cooler than you expected it to be. And uh, I think that's a good good lesson for what's going on in our world today, right? Just working with what we've got. All right. Let's make an arch, connect those lines, bring them all the way up here. We're making an arch, kind of like a half of an Easter egg. You know what I mean? Look at that. Doesn't have to be perfect. I got a little messy in there. We're going to fill it with a wheel and tire. It's okay. We're going to do it over here. I don't recommend having die cast cars, toy cars to draw on top of, but I'm making it a little more difficult for myself. That's okay. Looking pretty good. How's yours looking? Hope it's looking good. We'll get back to the wheels. We just need placement right now of these, all right? Good deal. Last thing I want to add in is a spoiler. Ready for this? It's angled. Shouldn't be too hard. You have a choice here. In NASCAR, sometimes we run spoilers that are this high, and sometimes we run spoilers that are this high. You want the big one? Go for the big one. You want that little one? Go for the little one. It's up to you. I'm going to go for a medium one. Three for a loop there. Three for a loop. All right, here we go. Just draw it straight up like that. Mimic that parallel line and then connect them. And I want you to notice something. Say you wanted to make this a pickup truck for the, the old Camp World truck series out there. What would you do? You would have made this roof shorter and taller, right? And you make this trunk longer. All right. But we're making, we're making a race car today. We're doing Martin Truex Jr.'s Bass Pro Shops, Cabela's Camry yesterday. We're doing Kyle Bush's today. Are you following along? We showed some drawings earlier. Which one of those was your favorite? Did you like Tracy's, Vance's, Byron's? T tell us. Throw them some love. Give the artist some love. We all need some love in there, right? All right, let's keep it going. Go back to your light line, dashed line, okay? We're going to get some more guides here. We're going to get into the nose. Things are going to get a little more complicated here, but you can do it. We're going to mimic the front of the hood with a little light dashed line. You see that? All right. Dash that line like that. Very good. Very nice. You hear my dog plunking around out there? That's the edge of our hood. We just mimicked it. All right, here we go. I'm going to stick with the light line because I want to get this stuff in the right spot while I'm looking at it. Now this Camry, Kyle Busch's Camry, has a very sporty, aggressive front end. We're going to need some swooshes. We're going to need some jagged lines. We're going to make this thing look good. All right, the first line I want is, a, is one that's kind of a V, a very shallow V. So make it like this. Come to a little point and then make it go back up to our, our dash line up there. I'm staying light. That's going to give us the line for our headlights. Look at there. Goes all the way to the edge. First headlight is in the books. Draw that line about right there. And then connect it. Now I'm going, I'm going a little fast here, but don't worry. If you need to watch the replay, you can always come back and pause it. You might be able to pause it now, actually. I can't remember. Anyway, look at that headlight. So we made a little shallow, almost like a upside down little hill, right? Goes to the point for the center point of the nose and draw a guideline where I think the center is. Look at that dotted line. Came to a point, went back up like a bird in the air. Then I came in and I drew that angled line, looking at the headlight on his car, brought it back to our point over here of the nose shape, and then made a little wedge. Looks like a, I don't know, it's kind of like a jet boat, doesn't it? That Camry headlight, very aggressive styling on there. And I'm going to do it way over here because the headlight's wrapping around the car. We're not going to be able to see all of it on the far left side over here. So I'm starting that front line, this line, starting it over here on this side, and just drawing, drawing like a third of the headlight. That's what's going to make it look real and wrap it around. Pretty cool. 
All right. Now don't forget, we got that Toyota logo. It's basically an oval. We're going to mark that spot right there. There you go. That's where it's going to go. I'll probably fill it in with color later. I'm going to get my black back. And I'm going to just fill in this like that. Filling it in, filling it in, filling it in. We've got a thick line that does not hit the headlight. See how it stops before the headlight up here? In fact, I'm going to do a little erase and show you what we got. Look at that. See, we want a little gap just to make it look realistic, just like Kyle Busch's cannon. All right. Bring it back to the pen. First grill line is in, and headlights and stickers are in. Stickers, right? We all we've all seen cars. Those are headlight stickers. They don't really turn on. We're getting into the details now, right? We did the general outline, and I'm getting into the details. You can also, if you'd like to, you can smooth out these hard edges. See how I'm smoothing out that hard edge? Race cars are about going through the air quickly. And if you have hard edges, that makes it harder for the car to go through the air. So we smooth them out. I can even erase a little bit on those hard angular edges and make it look good. Get a little swoosh in there. If you watch yesterday, I'm big on the swooshes. Make these cars look fat. Swoosh action. I'm getting ahead of myself. We don't, we're not ready for swooshes yet. Okay. Got that grill in there. The next grill on the bottom, we want to leave a white space between the top grill, but it's going to actually hit the headlight. Look at that. See? I left the space, drew it to the headlight, and then I drew a parallel line under the logo, Toyota logo, right there. Look at that. Pretty good. Got that. All right. Now we got some, I call them spikes. Some people call them pontoons. These jagged, angular, cool looking things at the front of these Camrys. The Truex Bass Pro Shops car really shows it. See the orange, how it angles up at the headlight and comes back. Let me see how close I can get that to your camera there. I don't know if you can even see that, but there you go. We're gonna draw that orange spike in there. So let's do it. What we want to do is follow the angle of the headlight that we started here, bring it down a little bit, a little bit, and then bring it back like this. Perfect. Look at that. It's like a triangle. See it form the shape of the headlight? This is not an accident. These Toyota designers, pretty smart, pretty good designers. Do the same thing over here. Bring it down, bring it down, bring it down, and then send it back, but it disappears. That's okay. Gonna make it look real, it disappears. I like that a lot. All right, now fill in, fill in with black or whatever you want to do. If you have a pencil, it might be easier to draw hash marks. You ever seen that? So, if you have a pencil, your line is probably pretty thin, like this. Just draw marks like this. Look at this hash marks, sideways dashes, and then come back in and do the opposite way. This works well with pens, pencils, markers, everything really. If you don't have a big thick marker like I do. And then just keep adding more until you fill it up. You can get a little scribbling in there. Very nice. Look at that. Look how much that looks like a Camry now. While you have that thin marker out of that pen or pencil, just add some little circle scribbles in here. A little circle on the headlight, a little scribble. That's going to give us the illusion of a headlight, glass and plastic and lenses in there that project light, just to give it some realism. All right, you catch up. I'm gonna work on a couple little details while you're catching up. I'm gonna read some of your comments and see what's going on, all right? We're gonna try to do this every weekday at noon. Maybe some Saturdays we'll give it a shot. Maybe we'll do it in the morning on Saturdays. But tune in every weekday at noon. Send me your requests for the next drawing. Yesterday, uh, Devin requested Martin Truex's car and I drew that. Tune into that episode if you missed it. But uh, today we're drawing Kyle Busch's car. Let's see who's out there watching. Lynn's out there. Amanda is watching with her son who's six. I love that. Justin didn't think he'd ever be able to draw a race car out of a box. There you go. There you go, Justin. Brian's out in Southern California. JJ Joe's watching. JJ Joe's a longtime fan, watcher of our lives. Christopher's in Jacksonville. Let's see. Oh, Jacksonville, North Carolina, not Florida. I see Christopher. That's all right. That's all right. Top fan Petty Green's out there. All right. Looking good. Are you caught up? Very nice. 
Let's see. Man, I know you're itching to get to those wheels. I can feel it. I can feel it. You're out there saying, draw the wheels. But we're not going to do that yet. Got a special technique for the wheels and tires. If you already did it, no problem. No problem. Go, go ahead. We drew wheels yesterday. Maybe you're using the technique you learned yesterday to finish those wheels. That would be awesome. All right. What else do we need here? I think at this point, I'm going to erase my cube. Well, I'll wait in case people are joining and they want to see what we did. I'll, I'll save that for last. You know what? Maybe we, maybe it is time for wheels. Maybe it is time for wheels. No, it's not. First of all, we're going to do a window net. Who knows out there what the window net does? If you know what the window net does and why we have window nets and not windows out of glass and plastic next to the driver, put it in the comments, all right? Or have your parents type it in, whatever you think. But you want to do a cross hatch again with perpendicular lines. You know that word? So down, and we're going to go straight across through those lines to make a net. Kind of like a thick fishing net. They also have a line that goes like that. All right. I'll answer in the comments later while we have window nets. I want to see if anybody out there gets it. All right. One more thing before the wheels. The fuel port where the fuel goes. It's just a black hole, little circle right back here. Just right there. Got it? I'm going to fix my rear bumper here. It's looking kind of messy. I'm going to erase it a little bit, make it look nicer. Bada bing, bada boom. All right. There you go. Very nice. It's time for the wheels. So here's the deal. If you're drawn with a pencil or something and you can erase, there's one method. If you're drawn with a pen or a marker and you cannot erase, there's another method. On the front wheel, I'm going to use the erasable method. And on the back wheel, I'm going to use the non-erasable method. Okay. If you can erase, try the front wheel method with me. I'm going to fill it all in with black as much as I can. You can hash, you can scribble, you can smudge with your finger. You can do all that stuff. I think I can smudge on here. See, look at that. I can even smudge on my iPad with my finger. Isn't that crazy? So you can smudge it in, you can draw it in. You're basically building a shadow first. We've got our thick line down here. That's a shadow. Don't go to the rear wheel yet. And then we've got a thick line up front. That's also a shadow. You look injured. All right. Now here's where the eraser comes in. We're going to draw with an eraser. Or if you're drawing with white like me, you can, you can do that too. But we're going to erase the wheel in there. Make sense? So we're going to draw a sideways oval. Some people have problems with these. What I like to do is draw one dot at the top. See my dot? Might be small for you, but there it is. There's a dot. Here's another dot on the halfway. We're making four dots. Halfway there. And then at the bottom, perfectly down from that top dot. Does that make sense? You see how I made some dots? Imagine that that was a cube in there, or if you don't want to imagine, you can actually draw the cube like I'm going to. Imagine these dots were making a cube like this. I should say a square. It's not really a cube. But imagine, we want to fit the, the tire, the wheel, in that cube. So what we would do, I'm going to erase that cube, is now connect the dots and follow parallel to the lines of the fender. Oops, let me get back to my white here. Draw it up, draw it up, draw it up. Follow the fender, connect the dot. You got one. Do the next one, follow the fender, connect the dot. Do the next one, follow the fender, connect the dot. Finish it off, follow the fender, make a wheel, connect the dot. Look at that. Well, I surprised myself with that one. That's pretty good. How's yours working out? The opposite on the rear wheel, while you people who are racing are working on that, is to just draw in with black like we normally would, right? So just really do the same thing. Black dot here, black dot there, black dot there, black dot there, and just give me a line down here. See? Got an oval. There you go. Fill in the outside of the tire. If you're racing, we're going to start on the secondary oval. You can use the dots. I'm not going to. I'm just going to freehand it, but do what you need to do. I'll freehand some swooshes in there. Who remembers what swooshes do? Swooshes make the car look like it's going fast. So swoosh, swoosh, swoosh. Bada bing, bada boom. I've got a pretty cool wheel in there. 
Same thing back here, switching to black. Swoosh that inner wheel in there. This is just what we did yesterday. If you need to go back, pause this and watch yesterday's, go for it. A little different, it's just two different styles. They both look like wheels, they're both, both very cool. Whichever one you like is the one you should go with. I might need to erase a couple of my lines here to make this look more real there. Get some white swooshes in there. Look at those swooshes adding some speed. All right, now I'm gonna go a little faster on the inside of the wheel. Gotta watch yesterday. Draw the inner hub. Remember, we draw it towards the edge, not right in the center, to make it look like it's sunken in. And then we're gonna draw some lug nut swooshes and some other swooshes in there. Make it look like the wheel's spinning. Do some fun stuff. A little scribbly, doesn't matter. The wheel's gonna be going fast, it's gonna be a blur. Got it? I'm gonna erase my smooches. All right. This is a more advanced one. Yesterday's was a little easier. If you need to start and practice on that one, watch episode one. It's on the Facebook page. We'll get it on YouTube. We'll also have it on Twitter. So look on there. It's coming together very nicely. I'm going to fill in my spoiler in all black while you guys are working on that. Oop, that Denny Hamlin's card threw a little hydraulic action there. All right. Filling in the black spoiler. Very nice. Very nice. All right, looking good. So we're at a point here where if you don't want to draw Kyle Busch's car, you got a blank template. You can draw whatever kind of car you want. You could draw your favorite sponsor on there or you could put your name on there or whatever color you want. You could add flames or whatever you want, right? In fact, I'm going to erase my guidelines while you're finishing up there so that we can start adding some color and uh, move on. But I'm also going to take a screenshot of this car because I might use it later. But you can make a photocopy or you could take a photo on your phone of it so that you have it in this state that it's in. So you could add multiple cars designs later. That's a cool idea. You just created a template, we call it. My friend Evan, who is a graphic designer at JGR, designs race car paint schemes and graphics. She has a lot of templates that she uses. To start so she doesn't have to do this over and over again, right? She just adds the color she wants. All right. I'm also going to erase just a little bit of this line up here. Doesn't really need to be there, but I still want to know where that line is. All right, you see where we are? Now, just a few more things. I'm going to add some swooshes, straight swooshes, in the windshield because I'm not going to draw all the details of the car. We're just going to go swoosh, 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 swoosh. We're going to black that part out because that's just going to be a, a glass reflection up there. We're not going to be doing a lot of details in there today. Very nice. We can do that on your window, side window too. Angled swooshes. And we can make that rear windshield appear a little thicker in there. All right. A couple more swooshes there. See what we got? All right. What do you say we turn this into a Kyle Busch car? All right, now like I said, if you're still working on that, just keep working on that and add your own colors. We're gonna get a little more advanced now. If you don't have colors, that's okay. I would uh, maybe work on some of the other drawings while we work on this and then you can watch this back and learn how to add color when you get them. If you don't have color, we can still do the number. We'll get a little more complicated now, okay? So let's do a, a lighter gray. Remember, you can make the number look like whatever you want. This is how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna draw a square. Light, lightly. The number, just like remember, we fit the car inside a square. My number is going to have to fit in a square. What number is Kyle Busch? 18. The one is a lot skinnier than the eight, right? Look at that. I could fit two ones in an eight. In fact, an eight is made up of two one shaped objects that are interconnected in three ways. So make the one skinnier. Don't divide the box in half, divide it in about quarters. There's the one. See that? Now we've got room for a one and an eight. It almost already looks like that, 18. It looks like a 10, but now if we put the little dots in the right place for an eight, and down here, look at that. Look how easy that eight was, just out of the square. After that, you can get as detailed as you want to, like I can angle these edges and add little, little nibs in there that 
make it look a little more like Kyle's number one and Kyle's number eight. But you can really just do whatever you want. Start simple and practice on the, the complicated stuff later. Cut the 18. Same thing on the roof. If you want to look at, make it look like angled, we already have a box up here, don't we? We already have a box in the roof shape. Let's do the same thing. Start a line here. Look at, there's my one and there's my eight. I mean, it's as easy as that. Draw a little eight. Stay parallel to your guidelines with that hole for the eight number. There's the bottom hole for the eight. There's the same nibs, same nibs, same nibs. Bada bing, bada boom. I'm gonna bring it away from the roof a little bit. Now we've got an 18 on the roof. How cool is that? Pretty easy. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, remember I'm drawing in my light color now just because I wanna, I'm gonna wanna add color in here later. So I'm doing a light color, hopefully you'll be able to see it. Now if you look at Kyle Busch's car, a lot of circles on there, a lot of M&Ms on there. We want to mimic those circles. I see this blue circle up here. So I'm going to, I think I'll just start with the light blue. We'll go in there. I'm going to draw another layer. You may not be able to do that, but if you use light colors, you're not going to mess up your black. All right, here we go. Go ahead and draw that. The blue circle starts with this headlight comes up makes a circle and it goes up under the Toyota logo like that. And I'm just going to fill it in. I make swooshes to fill it in that are a circle shape because that's the shape of the circle. It just helps you fill it in more realistically. Look at that. We got our first one. Now I see red. While we have blue out though, I see there's blue on the door number over here. So I'm going to draw a blue circle around the 18 parentheses there. It's okay. If I go in the number, I can erase later. I can add a little more. No big deal. Blue circle there. All right. Now I see red. Red's one of my favorite characters of the M&M. So let's draw that red one. That one's coming up the hood. You see, see where the red one is. So we're going to make it go up the hood like that too. And we're going to bring it back over here. Um, my red's a little dull. I'm going to fix that in a minute. Make it stop with the blue. There we go. I had too dark of a red, so I'm going to brighten it up. And then make it look a little better. See how I'm drawing circles to try to fill it in? You can do that with crowns, markers. If uh, you're drawing with a pencil, again, it, you can draw all this in black and white. You don't even have to do colors. That's okay. There's red. Now, don't forget the red character. Now, we're not going to draw the characters exact. I can't do it justice. Those are some cool characters. You know the red M&M, he wants to be looking good. So, we're just going to draw a shape to represent it. And it's going to come back here over the rear quarter panel. That's this area. There's your red. Look at there. I'm basically just filling that in. That's your red character, representation of it. You can get as detailed as you want. Maybe you find a picture online of that red character and you get more detailed than I can. This looks like Kyle's red, white, and blue car that he ran on the 4th of July, doesn't it? But we're, we're not going to stop there. We're going to add yellow in. While you're catching up, I'm going to catch up on a few more comments. See what people are saying. See if you're enjoying this. If you're just joining in, I'm Boris. We're drawing together. People are sending in their drawings. We're posting them during these episodes. Earlier, I shared a few. So I want you to send your recommendations for what we should draw next time. And also, send in the drawings you make. Okay? That's looking pretty good. A lot of people watching out there. The best part about this is you don't have to watch live. You can watch later and slow it down and pause it. It's pretty awesome. JJ wants to know what app am I using? I'm using Procreate on an iPad Pro. But there are so many apps on your phone or an iPad or a piece of paper. Well, not apps for paper, but you can do this any way you want. You don't need an iPad Pro. All right. Let's see what's going on here. A lot of people sharing. Thanks for sharing this. Maybe you know some friends out there who have kids or for our kids and want to do this along with you. You can all watch together. That'd be something cool, cool to do. All right, you caught up? You doing okay? See what we got? What's our next color? Green. Let's bring it green. I, I took kind of a weird approach here. I usually draw the base color first, but I actually didn't start with yellow. I started with the colors. It's okay. Do whatever you want. We'll make the most out of it, right? 
got me a green here. Let's go in here and add our green. And we're just wedging. It's not even going to look like a circle when it's all done. Look at that. We're just kind of we're just kind of filling in the green here. We can't even see that full circle anymore over there. Good job. There's a green. Now there's also a green here on this door. See it at the front? In front of the blue, in front of the 18. Same kind of thing. We don't even have room for a circle anymore. We're just kind of filling in green here. Doesn't even go up the A post. Remember that term? A post? And it actually covers the blue a little bit. So there we go. I've got some color in there. That's actually, no, I'm missing the color. It's very subtle, but there is an orange m and tucked up under here. It looks a little bit like the red continuing, but it's not. It's an orange one sitting there. That's the only color I forgot. I'm glad I caught that. Let's draw orange. Let's fill in just in between the crevices here. An orange m and Very nice. Look at that. All right, what's the last color? You got it. Yellow. And finally, yellow. Now this is kind of a, it's not a pure bright yellow. It's like a mix between yellow with a little bit of orange in it. A little bit. See it? All right, got it. So while you're doing that, I'm just gonna fill in with yellow here as well. All the places that do not have an M&M &M candy shape are gonna get yellow, except for the number, and except for inside the car, obviously. A post, yellow. Roof, C post, yellow. B post, stays black, okay? Behind the number, yellow. In front of the red character, yellow. In front of the number, yellow. Get a little roof action up here. Keep the number white. Trunk, you guessed it, yellow. Look at that thing. Tell me that's not a Kyle Busch car. That is amazing, huh? I bet yours looks good too. I want to see him. Take a screenshot, take a picture of what you're drawing, put it in the comments, have your parents do that if you need to, and uh, I'll, maybe I'll show them on the next episode if I can. I'll show as many as I can. Don't worry about whether it looks as good as this or as somebody else's. I want to see what you really did, okay? All right, here we go. Now, I'm not going to get too crazy on the details here. We're very close to being done. I want to add the white M's that are on the M&M's. By the way, while you're catching up, I got to tell a story. Kyle Bush and his crew got to tour the M&M's factory where they make these things. I got to go along. I felt very, very privileged to do that. And my favorite part was how they print the M&M's, the M on the M&M candy. They have this big roller and the roller picks up an edible white, whatever you call it, just a substance that prints the M. The roller has all these little stamps on it, little M's, thousands of them, if not hundreds of thousands of them on this rubbery roller. It runs through the white substance, picks it up, and then the M&Ms are in a tray, and it rolls over very lightly. It touches each M&M, printing an M on it. That was one of the coolest things I've ever seen. But we're gonna put some M&Ms, some white M's on these M&Ms too. Now this might be tricky. If you have a marker, you're not gonna have a white marker to draw on this. And I might have led you astray here. That's okay, you can stop here if you need to. Or maybe you get some help from your parents. Do a little white out. It's only under some parental supervision though. You don't want to white out things other than your drawing. And don't put white out on your iPad or your phone, okay? Is that, that, please don't do that. I have the privilege of having a white option here. And so I'm going to draw it in. Now look where the M's are. So we got one on the, on the blue. We're going to do three straight lines next to each other. Three straight lines. See that? And then we're going to connect them at the top. And a little ding, out the left side on the red. Three parallel lines like that. Connect them at the top of the tiny little arch. And a little left ding. And then on the green, three parallel lines. Connect them at the top, little arch, ding. Perfect. Do you want to draw the character? I'm just going to allude to it, which just means I'm just going to make it look similar. It's not going to be exact. I'm just doing some white eyeball scribbles in there. You know, his, his mouth is black, so I'm going to put in a little smirk there, give him a give him a little pupil, a little eyebrow. I mean, we're just we're just kind of trying our best there. And then I'm gonna give him a little little hidden M there as well. 
Again, if you want to draw the logo of the M&Ms, I'm going to choose a dark brown. That's what color it is. And I'm just, again, I'm just scribbling here. Just three little lines for the M&Ms logo you see on the packaging. Very, very subtle. I'm not even really trying to draw it. Just trying to let people know it is there. Also on the trunk. All right, it's kind of a workout. No, I'm just kidding. If you remember yesterday, I said if you want to make the wheels look like they're spinning, add some spinning Goodyear ye yellow. Whoops, that is not yellow. That is gray. Go in here, add some spinning yellow in there. See that? We're pretty much done. I'm gonna I'm gonna darken up our numbers while you're catching up. If you have any questions, I can address them in the next episode. So even if you pause on your drawing here, you had you had issues, put them in the comments. I'll go back and look at them and I'll answer them on the air, okay? Is that fair? All right. Now let's see. I'm going to outline my 18 a little bit. Oof, that's a little thick. Just going to try to make that 18 pop. Look at that. Adding darker lines around the white really makes the number pop. Very nice. Very nice. On the roof as well, darker numbers. Bring it in, bring it out. Can you believe that? Isn't that awesome? We started with a, what was it? It was a cube, but it was an elongated cube. It was a rectangle. We carved the pieces away, put everything in the right spot with the help of the lines, kind of doing some math, some geometry, lining things up, getting them in the right spot. And that gave us a race car that looks pretty darn good to me. I mean, let's, let's, let me hold them up next to each other here. Hey, I say that's pretty good. How'd yours turn out? Remember, you could paint any of these cars or you could put your own design on there. Maybe we'll do that next time. We'll talk about adding flames and, and other kind of lines to make your own design. People really do that for a living. In fact, a lot of people are doing that from home right now. We've got a couple people at JGR. Um, we've got Evan and Kat, Justin, some other people out there that make a living doing things like this, designing cars. You can do it too. 